Hello, and welcome to this STM32F7 Discovery Kit Getting Started video. The STM32F7 series is part of the performance range of the STM32 microcontroller family, featuring a large set of communication peripherals, making it the best fit for a wide range of applications such as multimedia, Internet of Things, home automation, industrial, and medical. Through the operation of the pre-programmed demonstration firmware, we will demonstrate the performance capability of the STM32F7 series as well as its large peripheral set. This makes the STM32F7 series the perfect fit for a large range of embedded applications. The STM32F746NG-based discovery kit is designed to be the quickest way to evaluate the STM32F7 series and to discover its features such as connectivity and processing performance in real applications. Now let's take a look at the main components and features of the STM32F746 discovery board. On the front face, we can see the 4.3-inch WQVGA TFT LCD display with a capacitive touchscreen and two MEMS microphones. Flip over the board and look at the bottom side. At first glance, we can see the specificity of this board that provides numerous connectors, which are useful for evaluating the device's performance in connected applications. Here is a brief description of the main components of the board. To facilitate the development of applications based on the STM32F7 discovery board, an onboard ST-Link V2-1 debug and programming tool is embedded in the discovery. To operate the board and access the functions of the pre-programmed applications, set the jumper Link USB to the on position. Then power up the board through the ST-Link USB cable by connecting it to your PC. To provide the board with more power to run user applications, the ST-Link negotiates with the host during the USB enumeration to increase the current output capability up to 300 milliamps. Once this is done, Power LED 7 is on and no longer blinking. The application will now start up and the menu icons appear. Now let's evaluate the various applications by touching the menu icons. First of all, check the system information. The embedded firmware of the discovery is part of the F7 Cube, which is an open software that can be reused. Verify if your discovery's firmware release is up to date. To do this, compare the release number with the one inside the STM32 Cube F7 package, directly available from the 32F746G discovery product page at www.stm.com slash stm32f7-discovery. Now back to the main menu. We will enter the audio player application. Before using the audio player, please connect a USB drive to the USB high-speed connector CN12, previously loaded with the media file available inside the STM32 Cube F7 package. Then connect your headset to the audio out connector, CN10. Now open the audio player and add a file from the media directory to your playlist. You can now listen to your music or add other songs to your playlist. The sound level adjustment and the mute functions are accessed from here. An equalizer function demonstrates the STM32F7 series digital signal processing capabilities in real-time applications. Now back to the audio player menu. We can play music as a background task while running other applications like the video player. Add your video files to your playlist. Now play your videos.
Here you can play the famous game Othello. The audio recorder player application demonstrates the performance of the device with peripherals interoperability in real-time conditions. This application controls a garden watering system made with two independent circuits, one for a series of sprinklers and a dropwise system. This module is still an alpha version. The controls are only available in the mainframe in this V1.0.0 firmware release. The final version will come later. The home alarm application controls the cameras inside a house. Different zones can be activated and monitored independently. No camera is mounted on the 32F746G discovery board. Pictures are stored in flash and used instead of camera streaming. Now back to the main menu. Connect your board to an Ethernet network on CN9 and launch the VNC server demo. Connect the device to your network here and wait for an IP address. Once you have got your IP address, open the client application EMVNC, available inside the cube package. Copy the IP address here and connect to the board. Now the application interface is duplicated on your computer. You are now ready to monitor and control the discovery from your computer. The actions done on the PC are executed on the board. and the actions done on the board are reported to the computer. If you want to know more about the 32F746G Discovery and STM32CubeF7, visit our website at www.st.com and www.st.com/stm32f7 thank you for watching this video